Sometimes, when I make a great effort, I can remember her scent, the sweetness of her breath. Serena. Serena? Why can't I see you more clearly? Why can't I even remember? The furniture came with the cabin. Considering how off the beaten path this place is, that helped make up our mind. Something draws me to this trunk. Is it the memories locked within? Or something else? Come, love, with peace in your heart, said Niab of the Ice Blue Eyes. Hmm. Blue Eyes. She made this with her own hands. She was really good. Our refuge from the world. A place of warmth and passion. The clock is a trophy from our flea market adventures. Chalk this particular purchase up to every cabin needs one. They prevent my blood pressure from skyrocketing. Doctor's orders. And Serena's. There's a strand of blonde hair in the comb. Yes, blonde hair like sun rays. I'm remembering. What's wrong with my memory? Did I have a stroke? <laughs> Hers. I used it too when shaving. These keys are for the cabin and the car. If the keys are here, does she have her spare? I should probably stay here in case she doesn't. Did she even have her own spare? We also have a key for the outhouse, but can't be bothered to keep it anywhere other than under that rock next to the thing. No one comes here anyway. Dearest, how do I say any of this? I like your way with words, but if I don't write this, I don't know what I'll do. My life feels so unreal now, dreamlike, but wonderfully so. Let me try, even if clumsily. The hours I spent with you when we last met are precious to me. I was so lost such a short time ago. Everything seemed drained of color and feeling. I think we were meant to find each other, to bring meaning to our lives again, make sense of the confusion shrouding both of us. When we stepped into the crystal silence of the snowy woods, away from the chatter of the guests, all nature seemed expectant as if holding its breath, witnessing a rare moment of something infinitely better than what life in the ordinary run of things has to offer. Do you remember how the light crust of the snow glittered in the reflected light of the country house? How the copse of trees in which we walked was haloed with a magical aura? I felt the chill of the night air, and you opened your coat and enfolded me in your arms, and we hugged tight, sharing the warmth, sharing the only thing any of us have to share on this earth when you think about it. And then you toppled us on the snow, you devil. We laughed and rolled around, my head already spinning from the wine and crisp pure night air and the stillness all around. We lay back and I guess when I realized what I was seeing. The luminous starscape, like a vast velvet cloth sprinkled with powdered sugar, like it can only be seen in the countryside. I had tears in my eyes when I turned to you and we kissed, and it felt like the only moment in all of time, or outside time, and ours was the only spark that could ignite the universe. You gave me these moments. You complete me in ways I never knew to dream of. Let me be the one who makes sense of the confusion whenever you feel lost again. We can make our own world against the rest of the world if need be. Together we can silence all the demons, heal all the wounds. I love you. In eternity yours, Serena. Dearest, been so long since I said her name out loud. I think that's the moment I fell in love with her, when she told me the soothing sound of her name.
Sometimes we joked we needed to be so far out in the woods because that's how our sex life was. Far out. So many afternoons spent in this armchair. Come sit with me. I want to talk. And cuddle. What did we talk about? Damn this fallible memory of mine. Sharing meals with a good red wine was one of the great pleasures in our relationship, especially in the intimacy of this cabin. This was taken on that crisp winter night at our mutual friend's hunting lodge. We came back indoors laughing, giddy as teenagers. It, it's different. But that just... It can't be different. Am I going mad? Somehow she looks sadder than I remembered. Could I really have been so wrong about that night? All those moments we sat at this table, laughing, smiling, or simply looking in each other's eyes. Will we have them again someday? How long has it been, I wonder? I can't tell. I miss her so much. Is it possible there were times I was dismissive of her beliefs without even realizing it? I don't think so, but memory can be so deceptive. Could it hurt me to be a bit more open towards religion? Serena's faith was always a, a rock for her to lean on. And I certainly could use one right now. That's funny. I don't recall seeing this plant before. Not that it matters. She probably found this rare specimen during her walks and wanted to keep it. I know it's my general state of mind, but I feel even more depressed near this armoire. Guess I can't shake off the memory of my sweet Serena trying on her various garments. Could you take this out and beat it, love? It's getting a bit dusty. It's one of the few decorative things here. We weren't much of homemakers, either of us. Come sit with me. I want to talk. There's something I have to tell you. I have been trying, and believe me, I've been trying so hard. I almost have it. What was she trying to tell me? My love. This table has seen many happy times. The meals we shared, or when we just used to stay up late with a bottle of wine and talk. Oh, how we talked. The most comfortable spot in the cabin. Well, along with the bed, of course. Without any activity, the corner feels cold and lifeless. As always, I automatically went to the window side, and she took the one by the armoire. Some of her scent still lingers. What's the matter with me? I can't seem to remember even ordinary things. When was the last time we made love? I remember us washing it properly in the lake. Many times. That ticking, it never stops. I've wasted so much time in my life. Did I ever take a break to show her how much I truly cared? That incessant noise! I should smash this useless antique to pieces right now! She's angry now. Part of me realizes I should be more shocked by this, but for some reason, I just feel numb, beyond it. She was lying to me and manipulating me all the time. Why did I let her do that? I'm the one who should have been scowling. She played me like a harp and made me look like a complete idiot. The jewelry box. What is it doing here? I sit here on the train, taking me to my final farewell to the ones who brought me to this world. I see the smiling couples on their way to new adventures and think, it used to be us. 
We had joy and laughter and friends once, but a memory is not the thing itself. You're very good at letting things you don't want to face slip off you. You continue as if nothing has changed, lost in your own lifeless world. Words and dreams may be enough for you. You know what? You'll get a chance to test that soon. I question how I once saw things. How much of what I thought we had were my own feelings, and how much of your manipulation. Because you are so very good with words, aren't you? You knew how to use them when we met, and for the longest time, I went along with the romantic whirl you conjured up around our shabby, isolated existence. Oh, it took me long enough to see it for what it was. And there were these moments that you swept me off on foolish flights of fancy, and I threw myself into your fantasies. You wove your spell, plying me with your magic and with wine in equal measure, and I was taken in like the lost little girl I was. Do you realize all the pain you've caused me? They say if you have to ask whether someone loves you, you already know the answer. Protestations to the contrary can no more convince me anymore than I can make my own mother or father draw breath again. Your aloofness tells a different story. I no longer know what you're thinking. With my parents gone and with your refusal to even accompany me in my time of need, something broke. Or maybe it happened long ago, but I never saw it so clearly before, even after everything. I don't make you feel comfortable? Really? That's all you have to say? I won't waste any more life waiting for things that'll never come. Of course, that's what you expect me to do. Play the good wife so no one will laugh at you for being the failure you are to shield you from the truth of your existence. Lost in your books and vapid verse, blithely drifting into the mists of time, as if not even a footnote, when you could be raking at it if you'd only used your words for anything other than personal indulgence. You talked and talked about your path, the winter blueness of my eyes, all that nonsense, and the years rolled by, the seasons came and went, on and on, you pursuing your dreams that will never be, lost in your damned words, looking for clues you'll never find. I'm sure you're doing it even now with your rotting books. You took the best years of my life, and gave only empty words in return. We've gone as far as we can, and something's got to give. Is this where she kept her secrets? I should take a look inside. Where to put it? I remember how happy these made her. She smiled, that wonderful smile. Her wedding ring or mine? But what is it doing here? Oh, please, no. It's hers. I can't believe she would just leave it here. Where the hell is she? No. It can't be true. No. No, I didn't do it. I need to wake up from this nightmare. All of this... these... Pathetic souvenirs from our relationship. They're all lies. You realize how stupid. My God. We had a plan. What is this? It can't. It isn't. How did it happen? I can't remember. It's already rotten beyond recognition. But how much time has passed? It's dry and withered. Do you realize how stupid this was? We had a plan. I took measures to ensure nothing like this would happen. But no, you couldn't help your damn self. We can't risk moving it now. The bulldozers are coming any minute. Fire will do it. Do you think they will buy it after all this time? It's been months since you... Don't worry. It's all covered. You spent much time here. Fine. Give me the kerosene. Shit! We forgot your... Fuck! It was so stupid to leave it. Why did you do that? Can you calm down? I couldn't bear to wear it any longer. It's in a safe place. We'll pick it from the ashes. No. No! Not like this! Please! No! No!